do is you're pretty much going to make vertical lines. So you're going to make up and down, and you're going to make them like an inch. So you're going to make vertical lines. You might not see them initially. You're just going to make vertical lines. You could go outside your boundaries because they're supposed to look like fur a little bit. I'm going to give you a little close-up. So what you guys could start doing after you make those vertical lines, you're going to move up about an inch and start making lines to make fur. And then you're going to keep on moving up an inch and make lines to make fur. And then you're going to move up again. Once you do about like five rows, I'm just going to do one more. Once you do about five rows, I'm going to wash my brush. And I'm going to put a little white on my brush and then I'm going to start at the bottom, add some white to make fur. We're just layering different paints. So I'm using white just to go over. I'm not going like exactly over. I'm just kind of adding another layer of fur. And have some coming out so it looks like he's shouldn't be like in a straight line. All right, so let's finish up that neck. So after I did those five rows, I'm gonna, I'm not even washing my brush. I'm just gonna start doing the rows of blue. Rows of blue. And some, as I got get near the edges of our neck, I'm just like tilting them, my, having my fur come out. Rows and rows of fur. So I'm going back with white now on top. I'm not, I didn't even wash my brush. So I kind of just want a mixture of colors. We're gonna get really wild in a little bit. I have a lot of paint on my brush, so as I got up my line, Got really chunky, but that's all right. The more paint you have on your brush, the thicker your lines will be. So if you really want to get fun, you could mix in a different color now. I'm actually going to take purple, something that mixes well with blue or mixes well with whatever color you're doing. I have a little purple, so I'm going to add like little streaks of purple in some places. You want it to be like bright and colorful. This neck is a lot further than that one. That's because I did shorter strokes on this one. This one has a little longer strokes on the fur. All right, so what we're gonna do, next you can wash and dry your brush. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna go straight to making fur on our ostrich head. So I'm gonna start with blue, start with your base color, whatever color you're doing. We're gonna do underneath our beak first. And what we're just gonna do, you're gonna make from the beak, you're just going to make lines going outside those pencil lines that you have. So I'm just going to take some, some blue and keep going. Just make lines going out. I'm going to mix a little white in with my blue right now. So from that beak, if you get a little in your beak, that's fine because we're going to let it dry before we start. It looks like he has a little beard going on right now. So I did some blue. Now I'm going to put some streaks of white in. We'll let that dry a little and then we'll add some more streaks. 
Next, I'm going to get to my side of my mouth, at the side of my mouth, and we're just going to have them going out. I'm going to take a little paint off my brush because I'm getting a little paint heavy. I'm going to put a little white into that as well. Next, what I'm going to do is I almost, I'm going to make my hair around my eye. So I'm just going to start, and I'm going to be very sketchy when I do this. I'm not going to make a solid line and be really light. I'm going to go around my eyes with that blue. So you're almost just making a U with that blue. And if you have a little white coming through, like a little of the canvas coming through, that's okay. But don't have too much of the canvas coming through. I'm adding a little white into what I just did. Now what I'm gonna do is we are gonna start at the beak and we're just gonna kind of go out and fill in that head. Make sure you go past your My Sharpie lines, your pencil lines, especially if you see it. Like I have to be a little more careful because I have Sharpie. But pencil should cover up pretty good. But I'm just going from the beak and going out. And don't make sure you don't go too far out, but make sure you go uh, far out to cover those lines. He's a hairy dude. And then I'm gonna go back and make short strokes around my beak so I have a lot of coverage there. After I do that blue, I'm gonna go back with white. Sometimes, if you only have one color, it just becomes very flat. You get no like definition, no fun texture. In the middle, I'm gonna kind of, I kind of have in the example, if you could see, I kind of have some hair going up. I'm gonna do that right in the middle of his face. I think it looks cute. Let's see. And I have to put some blue, and then I'm gonna go back with white. Move this dude over so everyone can see him. All right, after I do that blue and white, in my example, I actually put a lot more purple in the head. So I'm gonna mix a little white and a little purple on my plate. Not too crazy, but just a little bit. I'm just gonna add some purple, just so there's like something hidden there. It makes you have to look a little harder. So I'm gonna wash and dry my brush. 